Hello friends, this is Ishwar here and in this video we are going to see how the iPhone 5 works on iOS 11.3. Let's see if in iOS 11, Apple has removed the CPU throttling issue and if the performance has improved in iPhone 5 So let's get started. So now I have installed the iOS 11.3 beta 1 update and let's open it up. We get this privacy screen right here that uh, icon will appear when an Apple app or feature is asking to use your personal information. So you can continue. I'm gonna happy for the terms and conditions. Tap on get started. Let me show you that I have installed the iOS 11.3 update. Yeah, now the available storage is 2.8 GB. Now let's check the Geekbench 4 score comparing with the previous one. Let's run the benchmark and then after finishing it up, I will come back with you. Now Apple has come out and said that they have wantedly did the CPU throttling that they wanted the iPhones not to shut down after reaching 20% or 10% of battery life. They have also said that in this iOS 11.3 update, they would include an option in order to toggle the CPU throttling. It's a great feature but it's not available as of now in this iOS 11.3 but it will be available in the la later builds of iOS 11.3. Also Apple has said that they would give more information on our battery status so that would also be great but they haven't included those features in this iOS 11.3 beta 1 but it will be available later in the coming beta. So now it is complete and we get we have got this results now let us check this one with the previous results which we got in iOS 11.2.1 This is the one which we got in iOS 11.2.1 and this is the one which we have got in iOS 11.3 now the single code score is almost the same but it has slightly increased and the multi core score too is almost the same but it has improved in about 200 points even if we go to battery there's nothing much it's all the same the OS fluency is also great the notification center has no lags it is fluent than before I could see that it is great right now let's check the smart invert option This is how it looks when we enable Smart Invert. It has been the same. Now it's not fully the dark mode. For example, if you open any website, the images are going to show inverter only. So that's again the same. So that's all for today's video. I did this video because no one has done a video on iPhone 5s regarding the iOS 11.3 update because I wanted to do this so that you will able to get knowledge about it and then you will decide whether you need to install the update or not. So that's all for today's video. Thank you and have a great day. Bye bye.